Good day everyone. Welcome to another episode of Agri Guru Lessons. So for today's episode, we're going to discuss how to calculate for markup percentage. Have you ever wondered on the cost of the food your mother prepares or the food you ordered for delivery? How about how the food business owner comes up with the price of the food item you bought? In this lesson, you will learn how to make a costing for a food item. But before that, you must familiarize yourselves first with these terms. Number 1. Purchase cost or buying price. It is the amount paid when you buy an item. Number 2. Selling price. It refers to the amount when you sell the item you bought. Number 3. Profit refers to the amount to gain from selling the product. Number 4. Markup is the difference between how much an item costs you, purchase cost, and how much you sell that item for selling price. It can also serve as your profit per item. It also refers to to the value add to your purchase cost so that you will know what your selling price will be so now let's move on to the different example on how we're going to calculate the markup percentage for step a number one calculate your peso markup this is done by subtracting your buying price from your selling price so let's say for example that you have the selling price of 15 pesos and you have the purchase cost or the buying price which is 10 pesos and all you have to do again is to subtract the buying price from the selling price. So 15 minus 10 is equals to 5 pesos which is your peso markup and take note when subtracting always remember that the selling price is written first before the purchase cost again the selling price is written first before the selling cost or the buying price on the top of the purchase cost so again the answer for the peso markup is five pesos and step number two calculate percent markup based on cost this is done by dividing the peso markup by the cost so for example so we have the peso markup of five based on the number one step five pesos and based on the given a while ago we have purchase cost or the buying price which is 10 pesos all we have to do is to divide the peso markup by the cost so 5 divided by 10 is equals to 0.5 or 50 percent of the percentage markup so how we're going to uh, convert this decimal point which is 0.5 into percentage let's take note to convert decimal into percentage, you must multiply the decimal number to 100. Again, you will multiply 0 0.5 by 100 to get a 50%. Or you can just move two places to the right from the decimal point, then add 0 for the missing places. So from this decimal place or decimal point, you will move twice going to the right. 1, 2, so add zero for the missing places so that's why the answer is 50 percent so this is the percentage markup based on the given data number three calculate your percentage markup based on selling price so this is done by dividing the peso markup by the selling price example so we have the peso markup again of 5 pesos and we have the selling price of 15 pesos. 
So all we have to do is to divide 5, which is the peso markup, by pesos to the selling price, which is 15 pesos. So the correct answer will be 0.33 or 33%, which is the percentage markup based on the selling price. So how we're going to convert again the uh, this decimal uh, this decimal point po all we have to do is to move twice going to the right one two so that's why the answer will be converted into percentage which is 33 percent all, all we have to do again is to multiply 0.33 by 100 and again, remember when dividing base when dividing based on cost or selling price, the peso markup is always the dividend while the cost or the selling price is the divisor. Number four, make sure you, you consistently use either cost of the product or selling price to find the percentage, percent markup on an item, even though the cost, selling price, and peso markup will always be the same. The percentage markup will be drastically different depending on if you calculate it using selling price or cost. Using selling price, you will give a lower percentage markup, assuming you are making a profit, while using cost will give you a higher percentage markup. And now let's move on to step B. We have number one. So let's assume that now, what if your task is to compute for the selling price when the given are percentage markup and purchase cost only. So for step number one, calculate your peso markup. In this case, since your given is purchase cost and percentage markup, you have to multiply the two givens. Example, if we have the purchase cost of 10 pesos and we have the percentage markup of 0.5 or 50 percent then the peso markup will be five pesos number two now to calculate your selling price add your answer in peso markup to your purchase cost example so we have the purchase cost or the buying price of 10 pesos peso markup is 5 pesos then our selling price will be 15 pesos so therefore with the purchase cost of 10 pesos and imposing 50 percent as percentage markup which gave you a 5 peso markup you're going to sell your product for 15 pesos and that will be all thank you and God bless.